cities and some countries are starting to offer subsidies to people looking at buying e-bikes as a way of encouraging more people to ride and reducing car dependency. But the question is, is the government getting its money's worth with these programs? Well, a study in Norway in 2022 looked at these questions. The study looked at a subsidy program that was set up in the city of Oslo starting in 2016. The authors then followed up on the impact of these new e-bike riders. They basically, basically did a cost-benefit analysis of this program. What they found was that when you factor in things like wear and tear on roads, uh, CO2 emissions, congestion, automobile collisions, air pollution, the overall sum of injuries versus the health benefits of bike riding, the program actually more than paid for itself in its first year. There will probably be more benefits year after year after that if these people keep riding. So to those cities thinking about subsidizing e-bikes, you're probably making a pretty good investment. And to those countries who recently dumped billions of dollars into subsidies for electric cars, but almost nothing for e-bikes, you might want to reconsider that.